Gonzalez, I'm the uh, local congressman here in the district. Right here under the bridge, you're seeing hundreds of people getting processed, and this is every single day. So it's just sort of like a, that's, that's the bridge, and there's like people getting processed, and then they come across on those those the trains over there. Yeah, exactly. It's like um, an initial intake spot, and then they'll they'll send them through, but it's nonstop okay. all day long. People just want to understand exactly what's going on, but assume that people do not know what's going on. Well, you got to go back some time, and whenever the open border policies from the White House kind of got thrown out there, we've been overrun. So. How long was that? How long was that? Cool. What year was that? Two years ago. Two years ago. We're on our third year. We've been battling it for two years, and uh, okay. So. so so you're saying there's an open, been an open border policy essentially since the past few years? It's an invitation. An, Im an invitation? That's how I read it. That's okay. how it was told from the, from the White House. So okay. They don't have a clue what's going on here, I don't think, because okay. if they did, maybe they would care. Maybe they would. I don't know. How does, how does the train impact you? Because the trains have been a big story lately. There's a train just over here. This is kind of where it starts, Eli. Okay. Where you see, you know, all these thousands of people on a train. This is where they're coming through, but it doesn't end here. It just starts here. Yeah. Medina County is where they're going to make it to the big cities like San Antonio. Two, two major rail lines come okay. through, through my county and on those the illegals ride. They actually control the trains because they know how to crank down the brake on the car so okay. when it passes a heat sensor. The conductor has to stop the train and then just get off the people come to get them and all the stolen vehicles are stealing from all over the country. Nearly every one of them is in a stolen vehicle. That, the fact that we are seeing all-time highs in yes. illegal processing the freight right, right, but and, and that, that that ramp is increasing. Yes. So the, the, these are really important points because the public isn't it isn't I think it's not, it's not necessarily clear to the public uh, is this is this normal or or, or, or are we you know, are we seeing an accelerating crisis? It's not getting better. It's getting worse. Last Friday was the was last Friday a week ago was a historic number. Eleven thousand people that came over. Okay. Uh, and then on Monday that number increased. Today is Thursday and that number increased. We're only going in the wrong direction. This is a week. What happens two weeks from now? Uh, it, it, it's the wrong way. Okay. So basically, we're seeing unprecedented uh, all-time highs yes. um, and increasing. And yes. spreading. Yes. It's not in just one area. It's it's not just like it's just one city or one yes. town. Not even one state anymore. You know, it's not, we're talking about New York today, but Chicago. You're hearing it there. L.A., Denver. There's all these other places where it's just spreading. Just continues to get you know, okay. bubbling up. And, and just to quantify it, uh, I think you said. 2,000 a day or something, just just in this location. Just here, yeah, just here. So that's like over 700,000 a year. Just yeah. in this one location, yeah. Okay, uh, just us. 700,000 uh, sort of illegal immigrants a year, just in this one location. Just in this one location. Okay. Uh, El Paso, right now in El Paso. Just, right? Yeah, that, like, that's that's higher than the population of Wyoming. Uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, and that's just one location. What is the what is the total number from all locations, roughly? In the millions. I mean, it's it's millions. literally millions, 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 and those are just the folks that we know have engaged. What okay, about so all the others? The best that's just to who was actually processed. Yes, the gotaways were so, the ones. So, that, yeah. yeah. So meaning that like the the actual number is much higher. Much higher. Okay, that's very important for people, for people to know. Yeah. Uh, that the actual number is much higher. Is it is it is, it, is, it, is it official number something like two million or something? Or what, where, where is it? It varies, and it depends on who you ask. But okay. I've seen it as high as two point six million. Uh, and that number just every year for the past three years has almost doubled. You know, it was like 1.1. .1, it's and doubling, it's just year, after doubling year. year after year. It's compounding uh, year after year because because it's it's not just one part of the world either. It's all parts of the world that are coming in El Paso. Yeah, I, th I think that's actually an important point to make because, um, you know, sometimes people think, well, people just come from Mexico, but this is not the yeah, case. Not the um, case at all. The, 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 the reality is that um, it, this is an open border for all of Earth. All of Earth. Um, and just, you know, so there's roughly 350 million people in the u.s but there's 8 billion people on earth yes this is an open border to 8 billion people yes exactly. what type of nationalities are coming through your county uh, we're seeing anywhere from honduras El salvador uh i believe uh, ecuador stuff like that even uh, there's Cuban, pretty much every country well, right pretty much every country yeah uh, it's very rare that we see anybody just from mexico uh, oh it's actually rare to see anywhere from mexico 
and then I'm 68 miles from the border. I'm 80 miles south of here. From okay. The How big is your workforce? How big is the sheriff's office? Uh, patrol staff's only 16 strong. 16 total. Okay. So how many do you have on, on call one time? Maybe two at the most. Two, two law enforcement officers to tackle. I mean, some of these counties that, that I represent, they're size yeah. of states. And sure. they've got two or three people trying to tackle it all. This is where the local community just feel completely overwhelmed. Because Border Patrol agents used to be the, the front line, and now they're here. They're under the bridge. They're processing folks. So they're completely out of the game. So these law enforcement, the local law enforcement officers, are carrying all the weight. So to roughly two, two and a half million um, that process illegals, and then there's... It's maybe as much as twice double that or something. I don't know. So got a ways. Yeah. Pull it like four, four-ish million, maybe five million total uh, processed and, and unprocessed. How many of the four or five million uh, legal immigrants are sent back to their countries every year? I'll give you an example. Here in here in Del Rio, Del Rio sector is one of nine sectors. Okay, uh, we're getting over twenty, about twenty-five hundred people coming over illegally a day. And we are, we are repatriating or sending zero back. City of 28,000 people. We've had over 19,000 people in the last about 10 days come in. So we don't have the resources. It's like, like wait, the more, people, more people are coming in by far, uh, you know, than it's been. I mean, it's exceeding the population of the town on a regular basis. Absolutely. This is across the board. I don't care if you're a D or an R, if you vote, don't vote, yeah. urban America, rural America, everybody's impacted the same way. When, a, when the crisis hits your town, it's like a hurricane. When a hurricane hits you, everybody gets washed out. Sure. 